of course, uh, everybody knew Scotty for, was going to thought he went through DeMar. It was a tough shot. We were tired. He took a three and put us up and went to work and got the MVP of the game. And of course, he, he's a uh, self-proclaimed GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. So, <laughs> so uh, but certainly he, uh, he's very serious and passionate about it. And uh, I just, you know, he's one of my favorite players, you know, uh, of all time since I've, since I've coached. DeMoris, I saw you shaking your head when you hit the, the three. Take us back there. It seemed like you just remembered it all over again. I can't. It's like when, when Coach had called a timeout, I think um, the other team had maybe score or something, and we needed a, a good play. Coach was really trying to get a play to Scotty. And I was telling Coach, like, Coach, this is my senior year. If the shot going to fall in or fall off, it's going to be on me. Like, and he says, OK, then go ahead and we switch it around. And I get the chills every time. Like right now, I can see this game. I can see it, man. When I got when we des when Corrado designed the play, Scotty came down. Um, Dre went over this side, and it's like a fake. And I was coming off a whole double screen from around the side, and I kind of caught the ball from here, and I could see Coach Riley out of my uh, side view. And I swear, when I soon I caught this ball, the play Coach Riley made, when I released the shot. I told myself, please, Lord Jesus, let this ball go in. <laughs> and I left my hand up, and I could see Coach Riley over here, and he was following the shot. Soon he was following the shot, the shot was going in, and he, time out. I said, oh, yeah, we up. This is it. This is it. This is it. And they just, ooh, it set it off right in. I swear. Hey, man, I felt chills when you was telling the story. I felt like I was right there, like, as you released it. For real. <laughs> Coach Riley called that timeout so quick. I thought we were going to run back down and get on some defense or whatever. But he stopped. By the time I got almost past half court, he called that timeout, and it was up from there. I, I had to let the uh, the crowd, so the other team could hear the crowd cheer. You know, ah! uh, I got to tell you about this, though. Uh, one night, uh, y'all might not believe this, one night we weren't playing well. And she called a timeout. And I'm looking around. I'm like, what? It's queer to call a timeout, man. And uh, she said, Coach Riley, we needed one. So I went with it. I went with it because, hey. <laughs> but anyway, you finished the story. I had brought back memories, you know. <laughs>